How's it going, everyone? It's Sam. Gary Gensler just gave his opinion on the spot ETF. He gave some comments, and he sounds pissed as hell that this had to go through, that they had to approve this spot Bitcoin ETF. I'm sure he's getting so much crap from people, and he's pissed with how the last few days have gone. I want to explain that, talk to you about it. If you don't mind, hit subscribe. Turn on the bell notification, that little bell right next to the subscribe button, so that we can see future videos like this one as soon as I post them. I think this is my fourth, fifth video of the day. I'm not even sure at this point, but the ETFs were approved, and I want to continue to cover as much as possible here for you guys. Also, there's a link down there to Marjex, where you can trade cryptocurrency. You can long, short, do anything you want over there. Um, there's no KYC. You don't need a VPN to get on the website. Uh, make sure you always make sure that you're allowed to trade wherever you're at. Also, there is a link down there to HG Access where you can get information about cryptos that you can't get anywhere else. You're really on the inside track if you check out this website because we have 10 different influencers uh, that are giving information on all different kinds of projects and we have had a lot of alpha recently. Now, we have some interesting stuff coming out. First of all, here we go. Here's the official statement from the SEC website um, and the 19B4 approvals. It's officially done. Uh, Gary Gensler also gave a statement on the approval of Spot Bitcoin uh, ETF products. So in case you're worried, like right when it was posted, the website crashed like as soon as they approved it. There's no official tweet from Gary Gensler or from the SEC Nothing like that. Um, just something on their website. So uh, they they did post this, though, the statement of approval. And look at the end of this. So it's, it's like a couple pages long, lots of information. Um, but at the beginning, it says, Today, the commission approved the listing and trading of a number of spot Bitcoin exchange traded product shares. Now, look at the end of this. Okay. Though we're merit neutral, I know that the underlying assets in the metals ETPs have consumer and industrial uses, while in contrast, Bitcoin is primarily a speculative, volatile asset that's also used for illicit activity, including ransomware, money laundering, sanction evasion, and terrorist financing. <laughs> okay, okay, Gary, it's not like metals are ever used for um, any illicit activities either, or any other asset. Um, he also says... While we've approved the listing and trading of certain spot Bitcoin ETP shares today, we did not approve or endorse Bitcoin. Investors should remain cautious about the myriad risks associated with Bitcoin and products whose value is tied to crypto. Oh man, Gary, I'm glad you're here protecting us, right? Oh, you're so such a nice guy. <laughs> so yes, they say that they're merit neutral, but still spreading some fear, still spreading some uh, misinformation or incomplete information over there at the SEC. Obviously, he's probably salty about everything that's happened over the last few days uh, about their their account being hacked over there. It seems like something that maybe he's rewritten or added to over the last day since he's so pissed off about that. But uh, yeah, it, it is good to see that he had no other way but to approve the ETF. Right? There's nothing else they could do because they have to. It's just law. Basically, this is not a security. So eventually, you're going to have to approve ETFs. It makes sense to approve ETFs. It doesn't protect investors to keep us away from spot Bitcoin ETFs. It actually, I think, hurts investors. And now they are forced to approve. Now, a couple of things I want to look at. We do have some liquidations, although pricing is kind of muted. Right, like I, I think people were just worried that maybe this wasn't the official thing after everything that happened yesterday. Um, so we didn't see a huge spike up in Bitcoin's price. We actually have seen it kind of fall a little bit. A lot of people are thinking maybe this is a sell the news event or something like that. Maybe sell um, right when it happens. Or so, I guess sell the news, but people are worried if it even is news or if it's fake. Some people, though, I just don't think understand the long-term implications of this and how important this is. We might see some news about inflows tomorrow, which I think will be a huge indication. So just even if we fall tonight, even if there's, I'm assuming there's going to be some volatility at some point, because this is actually less volatility than we've seen in a bit for a big announcement like this. Even if we see 
some weird volatility or some weird price action tonight, be ready. Tomorrow, we're probably going to have a lot of price action. Friday, we're going to have a lot of price action. Over the weekend, we're going to have a lot of price action. The next seven days, the next couple of weeks are probably going to be nuts. Let's see if there's any other news. Now, I will say too, uh, this is kind of an interesting post. I will say that there is some vulgarness in this, but last two hours to reach your goal. This is coming from Bitcoin for Freedom. Uh, 0.1 Bitcoin, he says you're set for life. I don't know about that, but you know, depending on how bullish you are, maybe. 0.26 guaranteed top 1% globally. Okay, so think he thinks that you'll do really well. 0.26 I think is the number because there are only so many Bitcoin millionaires or only so many millionaires in the world and if they all try to buy Bitcoin, it's around like 0.26 that they could get right now. Um, he says one Bitcoin is generational wealth. 3.125 is 10 minutes of mining power in 2024. Interesting, yeah, that's like the uh, block reward after this next halving. Eternal riches and ladies, uh, any lady you want for 6.15 Bitcoin. So I think, yes, if you have 6.15 Bitcoin, you're gonna have a lot of money. Uh, he's saying you'll have eternal riches, but let's say let's say Bitcoin goes up to 500,000, you'd have $3 million. Uh, I'm not sure that's eternal riches, but it is very wealthy. Of course, if you're saying, hey, Bitcoin's gonna hit 3 million, 5 million, 10 million, okay, that's very rich. And then 10 is a Satoshi billionaire. That is kind of a cool thing to be able to be a Satoshi billionaire. Uh, I will say that. Now, ETH is running. I want to hit on that too. ETH is up at 2520. A lot of people thinking that the ETH ETF might be next. But as I've said in previous videos, um, when everyone was calling ETH dead, I said, no, ETH's not dead. This is just what happens in crypto. One crypto runs a lot, like Solana, right? Moved up a ton. And then it cools down and the crypto that hadn't moved at all starts running. And that's what we're seeing with Ethereum right now. So congrats to everyone that's held Ethereum. That's great. I think that we could keep moving on Ethereum. The Bitcoin Ethereum valuation still doesn't doesn't look great. Like this is the ETH Bitcoin chart. We've been in a downtrend. We're still at a lower high and a lower low over the last couple of days. If we move up another bit, like right around here, if we break this trend line, then retest, or if we just break it convincingly, that will be very bullish. That's going to be something that's going to be posted all over Twitter. So be on the lookout for that. I'm watching it daily. I'll tell you when it happens. Let's go back to Twitter, see if there's any other news, and then we'll close this video down. Again, I just can't believe it. I mean, I can believe it, but I can't believe how salty Gary Gensler is. Okay, this must be the most bearish approval statement I've ever seen by the SEC. Basically, Gary uh, says he approves Bitcoin but had no choice due to the Grayscale winning its case. Um, Gary is no longer useful to anyone, and after yesterday's debacle, there must be a fall guy. He is out. Uh, I would not be surprised if he got fired. Uh, you know, a lot of people are already trying to get him fired. Uh, <laughs> apparently, he's 72 is trending. I'm guessing that's about. Gary Gensler? Maybe not, maybe not. Um, SEC Chair Gary Gensler has issued an official statement. Coping and seething. <laughs> yeah, he is pissed off. Okay, I think we pretty much covered it. I appreciate you guys watching. I appreciate everyone that's been on the channel. Uh, everyone that's commented, liked, posted, followed an affiliate link. Uh, any of that. I really do appreciate it. Congrats. This is a historic day. I think big things are yet to come. And I'm going to be here with you every step of the way. Again, if you want to check out the links, great. Just know um, whenever you trade something, whenever you use any kind of an exchange, there is some kind of risk, right? No matter what it is. Um, so trade if you want. There's a link to Marjex underneath the video. I think exchanges are kind of a necessary evil, as I've said in the past, right? You, you need them to buy crypto or to trade crypto. Uh, so definitely check out that link if you're interested. There are also links to Treasure underneath the video in case you want a hardware wallet. Uh, and they do have some discounts when you use my codes underneath the video. They lowered prices recently too. So if you haven't already gotten a hardware wallet, this is the time to get one like a, ahead of all this volatility. Uh, a lot of people have been posting things about different scams as well out there. So make sure your crypto is well secured, the majority of your crypto off of exchanges, then trade with whatever you want. Uh, let's look one last time on price. Okay, 45.5. So be ready for some volatility. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. I will see you in the next video. Bye.